I went by Richardson Independent School District today and I wanted to speak with the person that is responsible for implementing different activities as it relates to health and wellness for the employees of the school district. And as I was explaining this to the receptionist, she got on the phone and she made a call and said that person wasn't available. So I said, hey, I can leave my information. She said, oh, I thought you had a complaint related to your experience in that department. I said, no, I said, I'm a sound practitioner. I would like to speak with that person about implementing sound healing in y'all's wellness program. She said, oh, wow, thank you so much. Has the world gotten to a point where we're so busy mentally and physically where we can't even listen to the people that's in front of us? Our family, our loved ones, our friends, people. How many messages do we get from the universe that we miss because we're so busy, caught up in what we have going on? Something to think about. Another thing to think about, why is it that people automatically think negative before positive? Why did she have to think in her mind that I was coming to complain rather than coming to give love and be of service? That's what the world needs more of love because a lot of people have trained their brains to think negative before positive but that training came from somewhere it came from a conditioning of negativity of complaining of people not being satisfied with themselves or their life so they want to try to make everyone else's a living hell my whole point is Give love and show love where you can. You don't have to be overly nice or go over the top with it, but love and kindness never hurt nobody. And that could be as simple as giving a compliment or acknowledging, acknowledging something great about someone else. When is the last time you've done that? 